Games, Brains Are Banging Life with another episode of Design Your Own Setlist. And we are looking at the big lads themselves. It is Iron Maiden's turn to get the treatment here. Mm -hmm. Full disclosure, not a big fan. No. Respect, admire, like them a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, seen them live a few times and uh, really want to again at a sort of like mm -hmm. best of kind of tour. Um, but certainly not a big fan yeah. not in the way like most people are about a lot of people are about maiden yeah uh, of that like so of the bands that are that size they're mm. one of my least favorite yeah. kind of thing yeah. so admittedly coming up this was very very difficult so what i ended up doing right mm. was i went through every album mm. and cherry was cherry picking i know that song i yeah. like that song i'm putting it here now coincidentally at the time of recording this helped because uh i also recently did like a full album as a track by track mm. so that helped acclimatise me to certain other yeah. tracks and then get me in a maiden kind of thought yeah. frame but I've ended up rolling with uh, basically what, what what is my favourite maiden tracks yeah. I don't really think there's much of an order or like sense to this yeah. except the encore mm. and the start yeah so for me there's no I wouldn't know any random I wouldn't know any tracks like deep cuts of Iron Maiden mine are purely I've seen them live a few times I absolutely love like the best of and all the collections put together and seeing them live it is like an experience I've mm -hmm. not seen them on an album tour it's just been truly festivals with Iron Maiden. So mine is a pretty much a festival set, you would call it. All the bangers. Yeah. All the ones that gets the crowd going. There's no one, there's no songs here that people like, a true like Iron Maiden fan would go, oh, that's, I'm not thought about that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, that kind of It'd thing. It'd be, oh God, they'd roll their eyes and go, I've heard that a million times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the kind of thing like, if it's what a non, uh, a, a, a non Metallica fan would do for us. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? It's that yeah. kind of thing where, you know, we want the deep cuts of, say, Metallica or something yeah. like that or Machine Head and all that, and like a, a non-fan would be like, no, I just want to hear mm. um, Seek and Destroy and yeah. Sad But True and stuff like that. You know, I completely yeah. understand. For us, it's this, basically. Yeah, yeah. so it's like, enjoyable, but you're not going to get anything that's like out left field. <laughs> so. Right then, intros. Yep. What do you start with? I've gone with The Trooper. The Trooper, all right, yep. Yeah. Obviously, it's The just, Trooper. you know, gets people G'd up. I made all the backdrops going. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's a great start, you know, it absolutely is. They've got a lot of tracks that have that big epic opening. Oh, it's, yeah, it's do just it so backing, much. It's just backing it up with, A, a song that's not 15 minutes long, because I did like Ghost of the Ghost of the Navigator. Oh, yeah, from but, um, Brave New World, yeah. Yeah, so that was another contender. Mm -hmm. and then, um, a bit slow, though, bit isn't it? A bit slow, yeah. so I was like, mm, thinking about it. And other ones, you think, oh, great, and you look at like 13 minutes, you think, no, you want it to be peppy and get you going. There are some few surprises of mine, and we start with mm. one of them. Yeah. And so it is as simple as this. And, it, you know, if you're a big Maiden fan, you're going to sit and go, what, when I tell you this? But basically, I didn't hear, I didn't know Maiden until I came to this country. Mm. I mean, I might have heard them on the radio back mm. in Ireland where I lived a large portion of my life um, and heard them on the radio, but I didn't mm. know who Maiden was. When I came to this country and I was getting into rock and metal, I had a little bit of money mm. and I went down to a, what it was, Woolwich, Woolwich Arsenal. Yeah. There used to be a record shop there. Um, there used to be a, a brand, I can't remember what they're called, you know, but like one that disappeared. Yeah. Very small. There used to be small shops. And I went in there and I bought one album and I bought one single. Mm. The single was a gatefold, a gatefold mm. single, really colourful thing. And it was out, it was out of the silent planet. Mm. Uh, which was obviously a single released from Brave New World, which yeah. was Maiden's current album that year in uh, 2000, I think it was. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's my opening out of the Silent Planet, oh, nice. just for the nostalgic value for me of that track mm. more than anything else. Plus, it does have that intro, that ding -ling -ling, you know, guitar, and then it and it slows down. And imagine the lights going off, and it's just Bruce out of the Silent, and then it builds up, kicks back in. Yeah, yeah you know, I I, I I really like that fucking song. Yeah. You know. Nice. nice. Yeah. So, Part one then. Yeah. So. My part one is um, Wasted Years. Okay, wow, wow. From the troop of the Wasted Years. Yeah. I love Wasted Years. I can't yeah. believe it's that early on. Because there's no... All, all, all right, okay. But mine's banger after banger. Yeah, but you say no that there's time. some of the bangers I yeah. don't like. So, oh, yeah, so okay. I, mean, I, I love all the ones that you probably go, oh, roll your eyes and go, I'm not having that at all. Fair enough. Um, 22 Acacia Avenue. Wow, all right. I like the story that, in that one. I like the way it plays That is well. a deep cut. Um, Can I Play With Madness? Mm. I do love that one. These Colours Don't Run. Wow. That's a real. Uh, see, again, I've sort of debated having that at the end of the first part, but I just thought I'd have it in there. Fair enough. Um, run to the hills. You um, put it in there. Yeah, just to put it in there because there's others that I like more of the more okay. popular ones. Okay. Um, Blood Brothers. All right. So again, like there's, there's like 
it's hard to kind of have epic ones because they're all pretty kind of epic sounding. Yep. There's no ending on one. So if it seems a bit disjointed, it's just how I'd want to hear them. Yep, carry on. And then Brave New World to end the first part. Oh, wow. I don't yeah. like that song. No? I find it quite... Particularly chorus. Oh, Brave New... Kind of no. just... No, it doesn't really do much for me. Right. So you're aware I said there wasn't like deep cuts. And I don't think there is per se. There are some, particularly with the modern more maiden albums that I looked at as well. I, yeah. know, I know fairly well enough at like the final yeah. frontier. So my part one starts with El Dorado yep. from The Final Frontier. Mm -hmm. Then we have Moonchild for Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. Then we have The Number of the Beast from The Number of the Beast. Then, twice throughout my set, I wanted to add a track that featured other vocalists mm. of Iron Maiden. Yeah. Now, obviously, that ain't really going to happen in real life, but I thought, yeah, there's a oh, couple of tracks yeah. I, I quite like. Yeah. So I've got Paul Diano from Killers, mm. the Killers album, second yeah. album, coming in for Wraith Child, yeah. basically. Then we have The Wicker Man mm -hmm. from Brave New World. Yeah. This next one is going to be an odd placement, mm. but I really wanted it in and I didn't want to put it in the encore at the end because I kind of have those placed already. Yeah. So I have kind of jammed in. It's odd placement, I know. Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner from yeah. Power Slave. It's like a 13 plus yeah. epic yeah, based yeah, on the poem. <laughs> and I love that. I do love it. Yeah. And my part one then ends with a, kind of an energetic one, mm. Aces High from Power Slave. Uh, Okay, so we've got some similarities there. Yep. So I'll, st I'll open the second part with Fear of the Dark. Oh, wow. Because I like the way it kicks back. I, like, I think it'd be quite good to kind of have a second part starting with that. Mm -hmm. uh, Flight of Icarus. Mm -hmm. I, really like, I really like that one. Set change for that one, please. Okay. Um, the Wicker Man. All right. Um, I, oh, yep, so I've done a slight error there. So I had Rhyme and the Ancient Mariner as well. Mm -hmm. Again, long track, but if you're doing it live, you can... It, it works, cut, yeah. You can cut it up as you please as well. I'm guessing you could like do like an edit for live purposes. I'm guessing some bands do. Mm -hmm. The longer tracks. Then I went for Aces High. Okay. And then The Evil That Men Do. Oh, wow. All yeah. right, cool. That's cool. It's really good live, that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then ending the first part with Bring Your Daughter to the Slaughter. So and You mean part two? Ending part, part two. Ending part two. The main set. The main set. So my, my nostalgia of Iron Maiden is, is my first ever gig in utero. So I was a few months old. Okay. So yeah, my dad took my mum to go to Iron Maiden. She's not a fan, but he took her along. So it's like the loudest gig ever. So yeah, I've heard Iron Maiden when I was in the womb. No, you didn't. I did. I have. See so what you remember that, do you? I did. Yeah, I, yeah, was, like, okay. I was like jamming along. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, part two then for me. Uh, the Trooper. Starts okay. with the Trooper. Mm -hmm. So I've done it like there is actual, uh, like an intermission, so to speak. So yeah. we kick back in with the Trooper. Mm -hmm. Then I've got Bring Your Daughter to the Slaughter. Um, from No Prayer for the Dying, just there. Yep. I don't love that track, but I was I had a choice between that or Run to the Hills. Yeah. And I Run to the Hills. I can't. I can't do it. No, I can't do it. No. Oh, okay. Um, Speed of Light from the Book of Souls. Good okay. track, that oh, man. Gosh, that's that's, a, that's modern. That's 2015, isn't it? Mm, that's, I think it's the last album. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Two minutes to midnight. Mm, good. In there. Mm -hmm. Then I have my other vocalist coming out. It's Blaze Bailey mm. for When Two Worlds Collide from Virtual. Um, oh, 11. I think I've heard that one. I think so. It's one of the more well-known ones off that album, you know? Mm. But then Bruce does sing it. Has he got the rights to sing it? I don't know if he, I don't know if he did it do it live. Oh, I'm just kind of thinking about what I've heard it. Would it be one that... No, I, don't, I can't see him doing oh. the album. Like, Bruce has got enough music to, to go, play yeah. without him touching the stuff he wasn't on. I can't see him doing that. Oh. It's like, you wouldn't go to Fear Factory and see Fear Factory doing the albums that didn't have Dina on it and stuff like that, yeah. you know? So, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, second to last track, Can I Play With Madness mm -hmm. from The Seventh Son of the Seventh Son before my main set ends with a biggie, mm. The Nomad from Brave New World. Well, I can't remember that one. So big. It's got this really, really lengthy melodic kind of build back up mm. as well. Uh, Nomad. Oh, you like, you're a fan of things like that, you know? It's Brave New World and that's yeah. uh, like my favourite Maiden album. Mm. Encore then. So my encore starts with Hello Be My Name. <laughs> okay. Only for a similar All right. things like that. Um, second one, two minutes to midnight, because right. at the end of the set, you're probably getting close to late in the, in the, in the night. Okay. And it ended with Number of the Beast. Okay. Just to see everyone home. I mean, it's not, there's no real surprises with no, mine. No, no. Uh, I also kick in with Hallowed Be Thy Name mm. as my first yeah. track of the encore. My next one is Wasted Years, mm. in between, okay. for that energy pickup, particularly as I end with Fear of the Dark. Mm, I love that. Which, um... Like when I've heard it, that it's done live, is like probably my favourite Maiden song live. Yeah. Because of the little extra touches they add to it and mm -hmm. flourishes and stuff like that. So yeah, 
it's not easy with Maiden. It really isn't. It says a couple of surprises here and there. I think on both of us, but it's certainly not like oh yeah, we're going to be pulling out all these um, mm. obscure ones off the first album and stuff like that. There you go, though. There's Iron Maidens. Design your own set. And I say we might have heard it next year if they play download, but for, for, since circumstances are, they're not going to be playing download next they're not. year. They're no, not. no. So there you go. Let us know what yours would have been in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?